Well, if you watch Emmerdale, you'll know there's chaos on the way as Lawrence is left fighting for his life in today's hour-long special. I'm talking to actor John Bow in just a moment. Very familiar face. Poor Lawrence. I noticed you didn't look at that. Do you not like looking at yourself? Do you know anybody who likes to hear their own voice on a recording? No, and it's even worse. Well, it's when the you... same thing. Yeah, I know. I, f I never look at anything. I've done I can't. But the other, the other thing is, you know, especially with emotional stuff. If you, when you're doing it, I have in my head a kind of edit, a kind of cut, to so that I can shape the scene or whatever, you know. Yeah. And, and and no offense to any director, but obviously the edit is a choice. And yeah. so when I see it, it's not my choice, and so I, I just get upset, so I don't watch it. No, I, I can really understand that. But um, Carl Davis was on yesterday, actually, mm, who, who mm. played Robert a yeah, right. decade That's ago right. in Emmerdale. And he was saying Emmerdale was such brilliant, brilliant grounding for him as a young, as a young guy, because it is, it's relentless, isn't it? It's brilliant grounding for me as an old guy, too. <laughs> yeah, well, you've, uh, you're a very familiar face from lots of but, different But, uh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's great fun. Of course, yes, it's frenetic sometimes, and so if you're on a big storyline, the learning is just never ending mm. but you kind of get on a roll after a couple of weeks if you're in a in the thick of it and doing 10 12 scenes in a day you 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 know the muscle is is yeah. uh, is working and you can you, you can manage it quite well which is really good isn't and funny enough funny enough if you have a, a week or a, 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 a lazy couple of weeks and go back it, it, t it takes a while you get very nervous the first day again yeah right tonight a big hour-long episode what can we expect well, it's clear that um, Lachlan is uh, deeply upset by his grandfather's behaviour and, yeah. and um, Lawrence is also kind of father figure to him because uh, Lachlan's father has been very disappointing and not present. So um, his relationship with his grandfather is very close and uh, because of everything, the complete mess that's happened in Lawrence's life, he... Um, yeah. He has wrecked the inside of the house, wrecked the inside of his head, and uh, pushed everybody away from him, both mm. his daughter and his grandson. So it, it coincides with uh, Lucky's birthday, and he wants his grandfather to give him attention. He wants his grandfather to love him, and he goes to the house uh, finally with uh, a weapon to try and force him to love him and to apologise to um, Chrissy, his mother, uh, right. Lawrence's not biological daughter. Right, I shall be standing cooking something horrible as I usually am when I watch Emmerdale. <laughs> and I thought you were going to make me breakfast this morning. Oh Cooked no, you wouldn't horrible. want it, believe me. <laughs> yeah, so, so Lawrence, I love Lawrence actually, and I mean, he has a gay past, he's pretty much asexual, as they're saying now, but you reckon he's something else, it don't you? Me. Well, maybe he's pansexual. Pansexual. Well, yeah. What does that mean? Well, he's damaged goods, you know. Um, <laughs> those who watch the show know that uh, pre-1967, uh, he was uh, imprisoned uh, mm. for a relationship with... Um, uh, Shirley Selfox, I'm going to say. No, yeah, no, it was um, Edna's, Edna's husband. Edna's husband, yes, yeah, Harold. Yeah, yeah. And um, he went through aversion therapy and uh, was uh, tortured in prison and um, it broke him, really, as a man and broke yeah, yeah, his sexuality. Well, didn't you? well, it did. And, yeah. and actually, right now, I'm trying to uh, raise awareness of this by uh, uh, raise, making a petition. Uh, you can get details of it on my Twitter account, at John Bow Actor. Um, just to really... I, I don't see how it can be difficult for the government to pardon all those that were imprisoned for homosexuality before 1967. A few years ago, Alan Turing was pardoned. He was... He had the ultimate. He was chemically mm. castrated. Mm. Um, you know, people say, ah, did that really happen it so did. recently in our history? Yes, our great country with our proud and much-respected long tradition of le legal... of law. Um, yeah, those things were still going on in the 1960s, and it's... a. Uh, these men, like Lawrence, are still alive, suffering from uh, the memories and trauma of what happened to them in those days. And so I'm, I, I don't see that it can be difficult for the government to pardon them. That's, no. So I'm just trying to do that. Now, and aside from Emmerdale, you have a very, very busy life. You've got six children. I know one's in his 30s, is he? Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. He's presented me with a, a granddaughter oh, uh, gosh, just over a year ago. Lovely, yep. lovely. So busy family life. 
Yes, yes, you you're to talking to a very tired old man. Oh, bless but, you. I uh, quite like tired old men. <laughs> doesn't put any pressure on us women, then, when you're tired. <laughs> but uh, a few of them have left home now, university and, uh, and other things. Uh, but, yes, we, we still have an 11-year-old and a 9-year-old and a 16-year-old in the house, so yeah, it is quite exhausting, but uh, yeah. they're great. But I love lovely. Them. Yeah, 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 no, it's terrific. Back to reality. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to meet you, John. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe. When I turned up with hips and boobs and I was very curvy and I didn't work for a year, literally did.